Moving on, we have the um, anti-lockdown protests have been a few recently and uh, it just caught my eye, uh, you know, the arrests and things like that. Uh, I think there were four in Manchester, 200 at one of the protests in London. Um, and I'm, I'm personally, I'm anti-lockdown. I've not been to the protest because I have other commitments. I have family to look after and... Um, I'm happy to protest, but I still believe in social distancing and mask wearing. So I, I don't think we should lock down, but I think we should take, you know, proper precautions. And if you go to one of these protests, um, you know, I don't know if there's any other way to do it anyway, but, you know, other than taking a risk yourself, but um, <laughs> the problem I see is, that when you actually look further into to how this works in the UK, you had the uh, some of the BLM protests back in uh, June this year. Uh, I believe there was something around 150 arrests. I mean, that was over quite a few different protests, so that was something a little bit different. Um, and then you have Extinction Rebellion, who I think are doing things in entirely the wrong way. Uh, I think they're idiots, I think they're stupid. But 600 arrests there. And maybe the Extinction, Extinction Rebellion protests, uh, you know, arrests were, were justified. But I can't imagine across all of these things that um, the arrests are entirely justified. Because the reason that these things usually come in is uh, people go to a protest, the police turn up because we're all on lockdown and say, you have to go home, disperse, do this, do that. Um, and the people are obviously protesting, so they say, no. I'm not doing that. Um, this is called civil disobedience. Um, it's not against the law because you have certain rights. You have rights of free speech and free expression. Um, but then obviously it degenerates. The The situation always degenerates and there will always be some people in those situations who react aggressively. It then, you know, degenerates even more and there are arrests um, but this to me is that we, we, I think we're possibly in an authoritarian regime that we don't actually realise we're in because what are you actually allowed to do now? Are you allowed to protest? Are you allowed to, to go around to your mum's house? No, because the police will be called and they'll turn up and they'll say, leave or we arrest you. Then we had the story of the woman who went to see her, her mother and the daughter was with her as well. So a 90-plus-year-old woman, and it was a 70-plus-year-old nurse, so knew what she was doing with them, um, but was arrested, and they returned said old lady to the, um, to the nursing home. How are we in this situation? How is there not more of an uproar? Uh, it's not necessarily just the lockdowns. It's the... It's what you are losing, and this is what I've been saying for such a long time now, is that you are losing your rights, and it's slowly coming in, and the laws will be passed, and you'll say it's all for our safety, so we'll go ahead with it, and we'll go ahead with it. But at some point, you have to, you'll turn around and realise that it is set in law, not temporary measures, it is set in law that the police can stop you from going to visit someone, or congregating with a certain number of people and that's the way that's when you realize that liberty and freedom has ended in the uk